So now that we have a method of signing in and signing out users, the next thing to do is set up some kind of a uh, way to check if a user is signed in or not. Um, before we start running these specific routes so that we can deliver content specific to a user. An example of where we might need this is I have a root slash profile which renders this profile pug page right here and it has this name variable. This name variable is given from the request user and it, they just give the uh, username field. I'm going to change this to the name field actually um, because in our um, database I have this name field which has their full name right there. So it basically tries to render that. And if I start up the server now, and we go to a localhost 3000 slash profile, we can see that it, we get an error right here because it says it cannot read the property name of undefined. And that's because since we're not signed in, this request.user part doesn't actually exist, which is why it throws this error. And this is obviously not what we want to do. Um, what we'd actually want to do in a case like this is we'd want to redirect them back to the login page so that they can sign in. So let's think about how we can do this. The way we would need to do this is that um, when we're going to slash profile route, before we run this um, middleware function to render the profile page, we first need to attach another middleware here to intercept it to check if they're signed in. And you can write a middleware function straight into this route, but I'm just going to write a separate middleware function um, just to make sure that we can mount it for other routes without having to rewrite the code. So this function basically checks if the user is signed in, and if not, it will redirect them to the sign in page. So it'll take in a request and response and um, since we might not be returning everything all the time, we, since we might not be returning a page or something all the time and we just want to run the next middleware function, we also have to take in next here. And what we can do is in the request, um, Passport will add a method or I think maybe express session called is authenticated and this returns a boolean which is true or false and it returns true when a user has logged in and when there's a cookie or a session with that user's user id and it can be deserialized um, back into a user object and it returns false if they're not signed in and that cookie or session doesn't exist so if they are signed in what we can do is we can just run the next mid function and that will just run the next middleware um, available and it will usually render the page or whatever. Then we can say else, so this means the, the user isn't signed in and the cookie doesn't exist. What we can do is just right here we can redirect them back to the base root of the app where our login page is. Then what we can do is we can mount this middleware um, for the profile route or any route the way we want to set it and we'll just say is signed in like this. Remember that you don't call the function here because um, Express will call the function for us. We have to give the name of our function, which is this right here. So if we try that now, and I go back to this root, and I start up the server, um, and I refresh this, we can see that it, we, it, we've been redirected back to the page to sign in. And if I try that again to go to slash profile, once again, you can see it redirects us back to the home page. Now, if I were to sign in using, let's say, Quincy, so I'll put um, Quincy and then cat, which is the password, and I log in, we can see that when we go to the profile route, it says welcome Quincy. And if I go back to the home route and then I go into profile again, we can see welcome Quincy keeps coming up because it's recognized that Quincy is logged in. It's found the cookie the is authenticated has passed and then it's rendered the profile page. Now if I go back to localhost 3000 and what I'm just going to do very quick is I'm going to just empty out um, the cookies and the cache just so we start fresh again. So I don't think we should be signed in now um, or not. Maybe I have to delete the cookie myself. Um, let's see, let's try deleting this. And if I go back to profile, yeah, we can see we're no longer signed in because the, the I just deleted the sign in cookie. So if I signed in as, let's say, a uh, Rosie here, which is the second account I have, I put Rosie and then the password dog, um, we can see it says welcome Rosie right here. And if I go back here and then go to the profile page at any point, um, what it will do is we know that it's authenticated. So then what happens is the request.user will um, have Rosie in it all the time because um, we mounted the 
passport session middleware right here, which DC realizes the cookie into a user object each time and puts it in request.user. Then we're able to get the name variable and it will be rendered into our profile. So whenever we're not signed in, we'll make sure that it's redirected to the sign in page. So that's essentially what we have to do in this challenge. So what we first have to do is write a function and um, I think with this, you, the names have to be um, exactly specific. So you're better off just copying this function directly. Um, I'll explain it as usual, but I'm just going to place it maybe here because we're going to need to use it in our profile route. Um, so just going to tab that along a bit. So what this function does is if these authenticator returns true and we have a cookie, it will then run the next middleware. Otherwise, like before, it will redirect us back to the uh, sign-in page, which is located at the base route. The next thing we have to do is to mount this um, ensure authenticator middleware for the profile route. And I'm just going to say ensure authenticated here. I hate have not having autocomplete because I'm scared of making spelling mistakes. Um, so if we copy the live app link now and paste it into here, and then we go to the root uh, slash profile, uh, we can see that it doesn't throw any errors or anything, um, and it doesn't render the profile pug page. It's redirected us back here because we're not signed in. So that should hopefully be everything that we need um, for this. So if we submit that now, um, get a request. Just a quick second. I just need to quickly check the uh, source code for this. Okay, so I just figured out exactly why it wasn't working. And this is honestly so, so stupid. And it's made me so angry. Basically, when you... Uh, go in and when it goes to the home page, it checks if the title of the home page says home page like this. And even though um, in the first challenge it asked us to put the title as hello, um, so having the title as hello here actually failed to test. So you have to make sure that in the index route, um, you have to change this title right here to home space page. This is so so stupid, it never tells us to change it at any point. Um, but if you do that and then you put the title as home page and then you go and submit it, well, you'll see that it is that it actually passes. Um, I'll just run through this very quickly once again what happens here. So um, when we go to the slash profile route, it'll run this ensure authenticator middleware and it will check if there's a login cookie. And since we haven't signed in or registered any users yet, this will be returned false. So what this will do is it'll run this part outside here and it will redirect us back to the home page, which is just a slash route. And what this will do is then it'll then render the home page. So that's what happened there. Again, it's failing for a very, very stupid reason. But if you make that small tweak right there, um, you'll see that it passes and you can go and submit it.